This is a short video to show you how to test the web services of OpenClinica. We assume that you downloaded the files for both the web interface and web services, and also that you changed the data info properties. We start with checking the status, and this is done with the Tomcat Manager. If we look at Tomcat, we can see that web services are not running at this moment. If we want to find out why this is, we must look at the log files of Tomcat and more specifically to the local host log file. We open it and we scroll to the end of the file where the most recent messages are. And we see here an error message about the spring security filter chain, which is not defined. This is a known bug. And to repair this problem, we have to copy one file and we'll copy it from the normal web interface to the web services. It's in, located in the web inf classes org Akaza Open Clinica, and it's called Application Context Security. We copy this file to the corresponding uh, location of the web services application, so webinf classes org Akaza Open Clinica, and we put it there. Now we switch back again to the Tomcat Manager and we try to start the OpenClinica web services. And this time uh, we're successful. The web services are now running. Now we have both the normal web interface and the web services running. So we open the normal web interface in order to authorize user root for the SOAP. We log in to OpenClinica. In OpenClinica, we go to Tasks and then Users. And then in the search field, we type in root and we click Find. And here we have the Edit a User Account. We tick the box with Authorized SOAP Web Services. We click Next. And in the next screen, we click Confirm. Now we're going to check if the web service is running properly and we have to look up how to do this in the OpenClinica documentation. So we go to docsopenclinica.com and we take chapter 9 web services and we scroll to the supported OpenClinica web services. Now we copy the link location and we're going to paste it in our web browser. So the first part is our localhost uh, OpenClinica uh, web services, and then the address we just copied. And there we have the output of the web services. This is the WSDL document. And now we know that the web services are working. We can use SOAP UE to test them. We start SOAP UE. And we have a nice and clean workspace. And we're going to add a new project to this workspace. Now for name, uh, we choose OC 3.1 Beta 4. And for the initial WSDL, we again take the link. We just test it. And we paste it in SOAP UI. Click OK. And then the SOAP UI is checking if everything is OK. This looks good. And we go to a request, a so-called endpoint. Uh, first thing to do is edit the endpoint. And in this endpoint, we also paste the link 
we just copied from our browser. Now everything is ready to send the request to the service. But first we have to edit the request and we'll start with the header. We'll take a look at the example which we can find in the online docs. And there we have the example. We can copy the whole header and we're going to edit it because it's not perfect yet. In the generated request, there's only one line for the header and we'll replace that with the text we just copied. And now we'll edit it. For username, we'll use root because that's the user we just authorized to use the web services. And password, there's a spelling mistake in password. So we remove the double quotes. Now we must provide the, the password and we're going to use a, a site to calculate it. It's called Dynamic Guru. And I here I type in my password and click on calculate the hash. I copy the outcome in my request and there it is. And now I'm ready to edit my request. I take away the side part and for the question mark I put TDS003, which is the name of one of my studies. And I'm going to push the run button to send the request to the web services. And there we have the output. Beautiful. 